Hi traders, this is Cynthia of Day Trade Forex bringing you another training video for the Advanced Neon Breakout System. And in this video I'm going to be talking about the key levels that are plotted on your chart with a special indicator. And what it does is it plots on your chart the major and minor key levels. We're looking at the pound yen chart daily and the key levels are plotted on the chart with this dash magenta line and they're spaced 100 pips apart and this keeps your chart from being very cluttered because the key level indicator actually can plot minor key levels every 25 pips apart that's okay for the lower faster time frames but for the daily chart and the four hour chart the key levels spaced 100 pips apart are optimum because you're going to get the bigger moves anyway so this gives you the key levels 100 pips apart basically to define what key levels mean I talk about major and minor key levels and this indicator plots the major and minor key levels and the minor key levels are spaced every 25 pips apart the major key levels are spaced 100 pips apart. This is what the forex market also calls supply and demand because it's based on the bankers and the hedge fund managers trading from one level to another. They don't trade 5, 10, 20, 25 pips. They trade between the 100 pip key levels. Now according to this chart you can see very clearly that price action in the daily chart really does honor the major key levels and right here in the middle of the chart you can see how the price is sitting basically for one two three four days this is a long tail here you can't really see it but for four days it's sitting right on this major key level major key levels always end in the price being zero zero at the end and every magenta line here is a price ending in zero zero and you can see over here the price is sitting right on this major key level it sits here for many days and then it goes up past the next key level this is a hundred pips between and goes up and you can see this major key level here for three days acted as resistance it rejected the price same thing on these two days the price just bounced off the major key level then all of a sudden it shoots up to the next major key level and bounces right off you can see that this little red arrow is actually the Donchian resistance so it's the Donchian channel and the major key level which is a solid magenta line right here is sitting right on the Donchian resistance so the price literally bounced off not only the Donchian channel resistance but also the major key level price and then it broke down through this key level 100 pips below you can see the tail bounced off this key level this pushed past it and this pushed past it this pushed past it and it went down another two key levels to bounce off this Donchian support which is basically on this key level so you can see how price just kind of either pushes through a key level to bounce off one of the major key levels or the key level can act as support or it can act as resistance and basically what you want to do is trade from key level to key level so if it breaks through a hundred key level ending in zero zero if it breaks through then you can pretty much count on it if this key level was acting as support and it pushes down then you can count on it going at least a hundred pips if not two or three hundred pips if it's a good strong move in this case it went one two hit 300 pips and this was a day where it traded between this key level and this key level so price was contained within the 100 pip range the next day it broke through this key level support and almost reached the next one 
and bounced up a little on the next one but then broke through on the third day to go down another 200 pips. Key level support and resistance can act like a price magnet. It can be your target and in the daily and four hour chart it just works like a charm. So of course you know you're going to be trading like you normally do with all of the colors of green and the volatility window has to confirm your trade entry but just be aware of the key levels and know that they act like price magnets if if support or resistance is broken you know it's going to go 100 200 300 pips and in a daily and four hour chart that's what you can definitely aim for so I'm going to change this chart down to a four hour chart so that we can look at it and the four hour and daily chart use the same template and you can see a little better how price is often contained even between the 100 pip levels and this is a four hour chart so here is where price broke through this resistance and went up 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 and bounced off this next 100 pip key level which happens to be the resistance of the Donchian channel because here's your Donchian alert arrow that says that it touched and bounced off the resistance channel and it just kind of stays contained between this 100 pip range now on a four hour chart you can't really trade any of this but if you drop down to a a one hour chart or a 30 minute chart it's really easy to trade. Here's a big push to the downside. It's almost a hundred pip move and it goes down and hits the Donchian channel bottom support. Didn't quite reach a hundred pips but this is the end of the day on Friday. So let's go take a look at the one hour chart. Here's the one hour chart and the major and minor key levels are plotted 50 pips apart and the yellow dash gold line is the between this yellow dash gold line and the magenta dash gold line that's 50 pips so they're spaced 50 pips apart and this template works for the 30 minute time frame and for the one hour time frame so you can see here at the end of the day price was perfectly contained within these 50 pips and if you look at support here's price is sitting on the key level that ends in 5-0 so if you remember that the magenta key level ends in 0-0 that's a major key level but then we have minor key levels those are the prices that end in 2550 and 75. So this major key level right here is 146.50 and that acts like a price magnet. So in a 30 minute or one hour chart it really provides nice support and resistance and if it breaks through any of these key levels you can count on it pretty much count on it going to the next key level which is 25 pips. If it breaks through that then you can count on it going to the next key level which is another 25 pips. So now I'm going to drop down to the 15 minute chart because the 30 minute template and one hour template uses the same spacing between major and minor key levels but now we're going to look at the 5 minute and 15 minute chart which has more key levels plotted every 25 pips. Okay, here we are in a 15 minute chart and this is because it's a faster time frame you can see how this entire end of the day was contained within this 25 pip range and if we look back here here's where the price bounced off the major key level ending in 00, zero. Here's where price sat on support of the key level of 146.25. So the minor key levels are dashed gold lines and they end in price ending 0 0.25, 0 0.50, and 0 0.75.
Now here you can see there's some support here at the key level, the minor key level of 0.75. Here you can see it broke through and bounced off the Donchian channel, so here it never quite reached the major key level. And it kind of hung around on this minor key level of 146.75, so often price will just hang around on a minor or a major key level for several candles and I'm trying to see here's an example of price just hanging around on this minor key level and here's how it acted as support it broke down through support and hit the Don Chin channel so it never actually got down to the next minor key level let's change this down to a five minute chart and in a five minute chart key levels don't really make a whole lot of difference because in a five minute chart you're lucky usually to be able to scalp 10 pips at a time and a channel between key levels is always 25 pips that is if you're using the 5 and 15 minute template so that those are scalping templates and often you're not going to get 25 pip moves from scalping in a 5 or a 15 minute chart. You, you'd have more chances in a 15 minute chart. But here's one example. Now the major key level, there's always a lot of support or resistance at a major key level. This is major resistance at this dashed magenta line, which is a major key level of 147.00. And you can see how the price just bounced off the major key level and did come down and hit 25 pips. So if price is failing around a major key level and the price reverses either up or down, then that's usually a stronger push and you can probably get 25 pips out of it. And it doesn't reach the second minor key level for 50 pips, but it does bounce off the Donchian channel. So between the key levels and the Donchian channels, you have pretty good support and resistance. I'm trying to see here. Here's an example of where you get a buy signal where it's breaking through a minor key level and it's racing up to hit the major key level. So if any time price actually breaks through a minor or a major key level and the momentum is on your side, then often you'll have a stronger push and possibly can make another minor key level of 25 pips. But you can see here in the five minute chart, price really hung around this major key level and finally broke down. It just couldn't push any further. So you have to really be careful around the major key levels, which are the dash magenta lines, because not only does it act as a magnet, it acts as major resistance also. It's really hard for price to push through a major key level. However, it's a lot easier for it to push through these minor key levels, 25 pips at a time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helps you understand how to use key levels in your trading and if you have any questions about it just go ahead and shoot me an email. Thanks a lot for watching.